You knock my sticky thumb into my beard. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sentence I didn't ever expect to hear ever in my life. Okay. Made from real tree resin. Oh. All right. Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we have another Universal Yums box. Yum! We hope. Yeah. We hope yum. Uh, Universal Yums is a food subscription box, snack subscription box that we get monthly. And we get the medium size box. And it's from one specific country. We yes. never know what country we are going to be trying snacks from. So. Are you ready to open and find out? Show Let's them first. See. Uh, we still don't know. Greece. Ah, Greece. Very nice. We always get these little emoji stickers that go along with this card, where you can score your or these treats. But we don't use that. Now we've been doing this for a while, and we have our own system, which and is basically eating savory to sweet. Yeah. So I'm telling you as we go along what we think. These books, they have a little bit of information about Greece, a little trivia challenge, and then there's descriptions of all the treats that we're going to try. Nice. All right, so we have a couple of savory items, a couple of sweet items, and this we've never seen before. It says that it's a yum bag. So what is a yum bag? It says on the back. So what is a yum bag? You know the phrase, good things come in small packages. The yum bag is that phrase embodied. As we're searching the world for the best yums to bring to you, we sometimes stumble on smaller finds that are big on crazy flavor, yeah. but small in size. Inside you'll find only the most extraordinarily mysterious and incredibly delicious teeny yums in the world. Nice. And remember, don't eat the bag. So you can go ahead and take those out, I think, and we'll see where they land. But a lot of subscription boxes do that, and usually then instead of one treat, you get, you know, a handful or whatever. Oh, okay. I did see those in the description box. All right. So let's start Sorry off with whatever. savory, and we'll get there. Okay. So this is Toddy's Wavy Potato Chips, and it is oregano flavor. Yes. Very nice. That's what I was going to say. There's a whole big thing here, but it doesn't have anything to do with the potato chips, so let's, let's just, just try them. them. Yeah. Mm. Oregano. Oregano. I, I, here, I'm trying to have you smell it. It does smell like oregano. Yes. It smells good, actually. Cheers. Cheers. Nice crunch, not crinkle. I mean, what do I mean? Not kettle. <laughs> yeah, not kettle, but it, is but it does have a nice crunch. Ridges, it's got ridges. Mm -hmm. I they, like the flavor. I do too. It's not overpowering. It's like a hint. Yeah. But it's good. I like that. I do too. Mmm. I wish we had a bigger bag. That's good. And the salt is. Is good on it too. Yeah, that that's great. I get it. That's good. Way to go. Good job. So these other ones are basil pesto breadstick bites. Mm. Christinia is what they're called. A flavor fit for royalty. Open this bag and you'll notice one thing: the scent of basil or basil. That's light, or that's likely what Alexander the Great noticed too when he found basil dotting his newly conquered territory back in 326 BCE. Soon after that, it was the hottest herb of the uh, Greek elite. I've never heard you say herb ever in my I, life. I never have either. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this time. I've never said basil either. A lot of people Cheers. say, I'm sure people will say in the comments, like a lot of people say that in the world. Mm -hmm. That's what Martha Stewart says. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Did you like those? Mm-hmm. 
That'd that'd be good. Be yummy. Yeah, those are delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That'd be good with a little dip or yeah. something. Mmm. I really liked them both. I like them both too. I am going to give this one like an eight and a half. And oh. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I like this one. I know my reaction was bigger on the breadstick because I felt like the uh, the initial taste of it was really killer. Yeah. But then it kind of just tastes like a breadstick. This one. <laughs> This one's great. They both are great. Eight and a half, eight. The oregano chips are my favorite two out of those two. Um, I don't know. I'll go with an eight and a seven and a half. Okay. Next, what do you want to try? Next, let's try this cookie. Okay. Kings with oats, soft cookie, orange, and dark chocolate chunks. Ooh, never have I ever, I don't think. Orange and chocolate, I that's know. a thing. It is. Inspired by Greece's golden apples. In Greek mythology, there are many stories involving the Garden of Hesperides. Uh, sorry, from Hercules' challenge to steal a golden apple from the Garden of Eris' famous apple of discord. There are many mentions of golden apples, but many modern versions claim they weren't apples at all, but oranges. Hmm. Ah. So now we're doing oranges. Orange here's, cookie. Here's what I'll tell you. This, I mean, I was going to say this isn't a knock, but it is a knock. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is sometimes how you, how cookies turn out when you bake them at home, but I don't know that I ever see a cookie <laughs> that, that dark. well done. Yeah. In here, it's falling to bits. Cheers. Like really falling to bits. Cheers. Oh man, what that flavor? The flavor is good, but what's that? There's a weird texture in there. It's the it? orange. And there's oats. Mmm. Orange and oats. I think it's oats. I love an oat cookie. Our favorite is oatmeal scotchies. If you've never had one, make them. They're mm -hmm. amazing. You'll thank us later. Yeah. Oatmeal and butterscotch chips in like a chocolate chip cookie dough. So good. That one's nice. I love that combination. And what I'm curious about is what... It says morning booze. Morning booze. So is it meant to be like, eat it like you would a protein bar or whatever? Maybe. I don't know. What I was trying to figure out, can you figure out? Like, where's the orange? Is it orange extract? Is it orange zest? Where's the... You can taste it, but I wonder, like, where it is. I'm looking. I'm looking. That's good. It just says natural and artificial flavors, and then there's ascorbic acid and citric acid. Okay. So, but apple puree is in it too. Mm hmm That's decent. I like the flavor a lot, and it doesn't taste like it was burnt or anything like I, my, <laughs> you know, my head originally went to. It's good. That's I like good. it. That's good. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got for this one. Let's do it. Also, you know how our friends um, in other countries get chocolate and orange, right? A lot. A lot more yeah, than we do. There's chocolate sure. and orange here, but not nearly as much as some of our friends in other countries get. Do you have chocolate and orange cookies where you live, or do you make them? I'm mm. so curious how you would incorporate the... Orange. Yeah. Cream-filled croissant. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day in the U.S., but in Greece, it's pretty much non-existent, save for a cup of coffee. With the 9 p.m. dinner time, most Greeks don't feed, don't feel the need for a big meal first thing in the morning. But even so, locals will still enjoy a late morning snack called colatio. That's where this flaky croissant filled with decadent cream comes in perfectly. Nice. Let's see about that. 
It's... Do you see any cream filling in there? First of all, if you haven't yet, smell that. Mmm. There you go. Okay. It smells super vanilla, bakery yeah. kind of situation. Wow. I would definitely eat that with some coffee. <laughs> yeah, that is a John thing. Mm. I like it, I don't love it. The, yeah, the croissant's good. I wish I had more cream filling, and the cream in the filling seems a little denser, I guess. It's not like as fluffy and like we would in a donut, you know what I mean? Here's my thing about stuff like this, is the outside feels a little like damp, moist, whatever, um, maybe, it, I think it's a chemical that they do, that they use in processed food to make it say, stay it's fresh soft. Fresh and soft, yeah. Which it is very soft and it smells great and it tastes great and whatever. That's a little off-putting to me, but we get that here all the time, like in our little snack cakes and stuff. It's, it's good. I like it. Yeah. But like that it, is yeah. definitely more of a you thing. I am a, I want to eat savory for breakfast. If I eat sweet right away in the morning, I'm done. Oh, I, I, I crash. Almond baklava. Mm. When exploring Greece, there are a few things you must do. See the Parthenon, soak right. up the sun on a white sand beach, and right. try baklava. Hmm. Right. So I John's will be trying try this it. one. I have a nut allergy if you're new. To all nuts, nuts and peanuts. Hey yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Here. Here's the plate. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna need that. What I didn't realize was that there's like it's soaking in like honey in there. Really? Yeah, and so there's like a little tray. It's like Oh. <laughs> Okay, man, this looks flaky <laughs> and good. Whoo, but, oh man. You know what, you know what this scares me about? Like, your beard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, scary and beard. And this entire room. It's like leaking everywhere. Yeah. Looks good, sounds good. While John's eating, um, I just want to say, have you ever visited Greece? There are a handful of places that I feel like I don't need to visit. There are another handful of places that I feel like I really would love to visit. Greece would be on that list. Yeah. Greece right? would be awesome, for sure. It looks beautiful. Yeah. There. How is the baklava? I believe... The baklava is my favorite out of the whole box. Really? I want to smell it, it but is. I don't want to touch it. Ah! You knocked my sticky thumb into my beard. <laughs> There's a sentence I didn't ever expect to hear ever in my life. Super, super sticky though. Super sticky. I have never seen a packaged snack come like swimming in a I sauce know. like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think ever. I mean, we've tried a truckload <laughs> at least <laughs> of snacks on this channel and yeah. lots of international stuff so it's not just like you know my shelter itself have never seen anything like that <laughs> like we've never seen anything like that that's that's crazy it's interesting i wish i could try it yeah i wish you could too okay now these littles all right so yeah we got two of each so the there's one that's a pomegranate jelly candy yep check and the other is M mastic rose toffees okay made from real tree resin oh all right <laughs> this whoa i thought that was a jelly i thought that was a hard candy thanks looks like something you get at a dispensary <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm Mmm, that's good. Ooh, that is good. What is it? Passion? Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. No wonder I like it. 
Yeah. You said pomegranate and my brain heard passion fruit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A little bit different. Pomegranate. That's it. That's nice. I like it. It is just like a, a gummy candy. It's got the sugar on the outside. Very sweet, very good flavor. I enjoy it. Okay, last. All right. These are Mastic Rose Toffees made with, from real tree resin. Ever wonder what a tree tastes like? Never. No. <laughs> we can't be the only ones, but regardless, you're about to find out. Mastic is a unique ingredient that comes from resin produced by mastic trees. Its flavor is similar to pine, but with a hint of something that's hard to put your finger on. Yeah. So, are you ready to try something completely new and interesting? I mean, yes, I'm always down for that, but I have smelled this candy and you haven't. No. So, I, it definitely it's has cool. like a floral yeah. kind of scent. All right. When you said toffee, I was ready for something. You know, Some, <laughs> something different than yeah. this. Well, let's see what we think. Mmm. But Universal Yams didn't do a good job of selling it to me either. Ever wonder what a tree tastes like? No. <laughs> I don't know what eating rose petals tastes like. <laughs> mm. You know what? Listen to me. I want to tell you a story. Don't spit it out. Listen mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were kids? Back in the 70s? And you licked someone's armpit? Nope. <laughs> and you went into somebody's bathroom and you were the company and they had a little dish by the sink and there was little like bath gels that had like oil in them and little fancy soaps. That's what it reminds me of. It does remind me of, of like fancy soap. <laughs> possibly using some colorful words when I was a child and having to eat soap. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Oh, no, that is not for me. That's not for me either. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's edible, but it is, it, that's, that's soap. That's what that is. Okay. I could say it was better than the durian cookie. cookie oh, cookie. yeah. I'm not spitting it out, but. I was going to. But, but I don't, but that's not, I would never get that again. Sorry if that's your thing. Sorry if you're from Greece and that offends you. That is not. That's not our favorite snack. However, there were some standouts in this yes. box. We loved both of the savory things. Both of us did. Yes. Also, uh, we got a rank. Yeah. The cookie, I think, was my favorite. I couldn't try this. The cookie, then this jelly candy, then this breakfast croissant. Thing, and then the um, the thing that I'm eating right now was my order. Okay. I would never purchase what I'm eating mm -hmm. again. I'm happy to have tried it. Because <laughs> um, we, I mean, we're down to try anything within reason once. Um, I just wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it for somebody. No. Again. No. Um, these are definitely more of a you thing, I think. Yeah. I probably wouldn't buy them for me. Both of these I would. This is so interesting to me, the cranberry and the, I mean, the orange and the chocolate. Right. And it makes me wonder if we can get orange and chocolate cookies here or if we should make some. Because so. I love that together. Need to make make some. some for the holidays. And then, I did this wrong. This is the gummy. That's the toffee. Those gummies are great. Yep. And pomegranate flavor, underutilized. Yeah. For me, the baklava is going to be number one. Uh, then I'll go with the croissant. I knew he would, yeah. Then I'll go with the pomegranate jelly. Then the cookie. This toffee way last. Like, okay. way down this way. <laughs> okay. There you have it. And obviously, Universal Yum's knows because they're kind of warning you about it. Yeah, in the right in the booklet. But I do appreciate that even though they understand that that's not going to be everybody's favorite, they're putting something interesting. They still put it in there, yeah. Yeah, because it's all about getting out of your comfort zone and trying and experiencing new things, seeing new things, meeting new people out in the world. That's what life's about, right? That's right. So I'm happy to have tried it. Um, 
let us know like i said if you have been to greece if or if you're from greece if you have tried any of these snacks before we would love to know where you can give us that information is down in the comments and speaking of the comments we always do a pin comment where we have a question of the day we do playlists we do links to our other channels we do i don't know our address is on there that's just a good way where we can chit chat a little bit down in the comments now if you love greece or snacks from around the world or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys see you next time bye